He's a 10, but he's short. A one. I'm five. Oh, so oh. he's shorter than me. He's a one. Okay. Seven. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I really need tall guys. So, uh, he's like a six. He's a six. And then what about shorter than you? Again, personal opinion. It's just what I'm not, I'm just not attracted to shorter guys shorter than me. So I'm going to go with a five. He's but he has a boat. He's a five, but he has a boat. I just had this one with my girlfriend. <laughs> eight. Go up here to uh, force quit. <laughs> All right, we got it. Boat? Right. He's a five, but he has a boat. I have so many thoughts boat. already. <laughs> These girls all sound like they should be on the cast of Mean Girls, like effing dumb. I think you so, so hold on, no, this, is really, this is really interesting. Thank you. This is really interesting, Allie. You think that that's not correct. Absolutely not. What's wrong with these women? We'll ask around the table. We'll just do it with you guys, okay? He's a 10, but he's short. It doesn't matter to me. Hot okay. is hot. So he's still a 10. He's hot. still a 10. Got it? Yes. He's cool. A 10. He's a 10, but he's short. I mean, it, I've dated guys around my height. I'm five, like nine. So I feel like I've dated guys around my height, but like with heels on, if they're like five foot, I mean, I don't know if I. Feel, he's shorter so. than you. He's five eight. Yeah. Probably. How, how I mean, tall oh, are five you? eight, that's fine. I'm five nine, five nine, like five eight and a half. Okay, so you're average five, height. Nine. Okay. Cool. He's a he's a ten, but uh, but he's short. He can't be shorter than me. Okay. So just what would that put him? Oh, I mean, he might as well be a one. I just can't do it. Cool. He's a ten, but he's shorter than you. I mean, I've dated shorter, but in reality, I'm attracted to taller. Okay. Cool. Can we wrestle in the living room? Yeah. What if he can beat you? Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's a ten. So he's he's still ten. me around, baby. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> can he's, I? he's a five, but he's rich. What is he now? Oh God. Um. Still a five. Cool. He's a vicious. He's a five, but he's rich. Still a five. Still five. He's a five, but he's rich. Are we talking mega rich or we're he's talking rich to where you we're, we're talking rich where you guys don't have to wear no. Let's just say just below chartering a private jet, but like n n at least two houses, and you can have any car you want. I'm a brat. He's like an eight now. He's an eight now. Yeah. Okay, so five. He's an eight. What? He's he's a five, but he's rich. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I get the ick really easily. So I feel like once, <laughs> once like I don't like someone, I, even if they're like a five, I won't, I can't make myself like them if, no matter how rich they are. I feel like maybe I'll, I'll give it a six, just like play with a rule of the room. Yeah. Can I okay. say something? Go ahead. That made me think about some of the girls um in that video i feel like based off their answers very few of any of them have really experienced many wealthy rich men sure. to be able to say how she was like i get the ick easily she's gotten the ick before because yes. she's dealt with that before well, it's also Some vegas people have yeah. like the idea that yeah. Oh, a rich guy is just everything because they haven't experienced yeah. that in different levels it, to see like, that it's actually if, like if, not if you're from that if you're from deal. if you're from Wichita, the rich guy is the guy who owns his own dental practice. If you're from Las Vegas, the rich guy owns the state of Wyoming. Like right. that's the yeah. difference. You yeah. know, the rich guy here is like the guy is a multi billionaire, so it's a very different type of rich. Like, he owns the color blue. Like this guy is like richer than richer than. Blue, uh, well, he's a five, but uh, he's rich. Go ahead, Tyler. I'll give him a six. He's a six. I'll give him a he's six. a five, but he's rich. It doesn't matter. It doesn't less. matter. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. If you had the choice between two guys, and they're both fives, but one of them makes $100,000 more than the other one. Women oh, create stability. Who are you going to pick? If I, I'm never going to pick a five in general, period. Yeah. But honestly, like, it's... um. I have plenty of guy friends so who are multi-millionaires, yes. and that does not make me want to jump in yes. bed Let's and fuck yes. them. Let's finish this video. Okay. Okay. can be great friends, and we can go off together and have fun together, but it'll never cross over that boundary, because guess what? You are not going to bring my animal out. So if we're in the bedroom together, that's all I want. If I'm mm -hmm. attracted to you enough to where you can make me act animalistic in the bedroom, that's all I need. If she you can't do that, bed. then I'm not interested. Can, can you do that with, so 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 that with your hand on the table? So that with your hand on the table? Doesn't matter how much money you have. What's going on? I don't care how much money you have. What's out. happening yeah. underneath the table there? What's going on? So what you're saying is if he's a five but he's good in bed, he's a ten. No, because I would never get in bed with him if I'm not physically that, attracted. Isn't that and crazy that is one of the crazy things right if he's a five but he's good in bed they didn't ask that but you're right it's like the women are going to give him a chance because he's not a five what makes five. him a five I, all of us would probably describe a five differently sure 100 percent. sure so there's the other thing you wouldn't know if he's good in bed if, if you weren't physically attracted to him the other one they asked is he's a five but he has a sports car what do you think is no, anybody I don't is care there anything for the, you the i have a sports car yeah but you do have a sports car yeah you do okay so that will, will do anything you know what i noticed is a really big difference when people ask me the difference between vegas and miami here's the number one difference you want know what it is the boat the yes. boat yes the number one <laughs> yeah. difference is yeah. the bbd the bigger better deal where you get fucking dunked on by the guy with the yacht we don't have that in vegas well, you get dunked on by the guy with the dance floor table for drake at excess <laughs> but you don't get dunked on by the guy with the yacht and because you don't get dunked. and by the way the guys who go out to lake las vegas it's still an hour and 15 minute drive so a lot of people don't want to go all the way out there you got to be out there like 
fucking eight o'clock in the morning. So a lot of girls don't even want to go do that. But like the, the fucking come on my yacht, bro. Like you don't, you live in Miami. I have uh, some clients that go there like, yeah, man, I moved to Miami because I thought the girls were going to get, were going to be hotter, but I keep getting dunked on by the fucking come on my yacht, bro. I'll look at the girl's text messages and she's got like 50 come on my yacht, bro. Speaking of like regionality, I yes. guess maybe that's a better way to put it. But a lot of people will say, well, that's Las Vegas, right? That's, uh, you know, the come on my yacht guy. That's, yeah. that's Miami. That's mm -hmm. Brickle. Okay. It's also um, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Uh, but in various different locations. Now, what my question is, is, is like, are women's expectations or are they looking for something different like say in vegas than they are say in like absolutely wichita Kansas. i'm from Rio, mississippi if or... you have the newest john deere and the biggest truck mm -hmm. you are that guy like mm -hmm. you get all it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you look so a like. guy with a big tractor dunks on a guy with a little tractor <laughs> yeah. you got, you got isn't it funny it's just it's just access to scarce resources got the bigger John it's just, it's just where are you from originally Lindsay? uh new york okay new york did was it a different vibe there so born in new york grew up in south carolina okay and so i was a child when i left new york south carolina was like a mini vegas but country really? redneck country wow. right so, yeah so i have the reason i'm asking we used to this go is mud bogging on the weekends we have, and you catch and, gators in the swamps so you I and I have a, a mutual friend who I'm not going to name at this point, but like the women in Detroit, he's like, they always want to like settle down with him. They yeah. always want to lock him down. Whereas like when he's in Vegas, it's like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know, yeah. like he, they, it's a different vibe, like like casual, like sex, like one night stands, the same night I, lay is going to happen in Vegas. In, in Detroit, Vegas, it doesn't count. In Detroit, so. it's like, how come you didn't call yeah, me? You don't I even get a so on. So I, I, think, get married I think that might have something to do. Yeah. I do believe, re, I believe I read somewhere where there, there's more women than men in the Detroit, Detroit area, like mm -hmm. because the, the middle class has it's been- It's not so, Detroit, I'm just using Detroit. Yeah, but the, like, the middle yeah. class in some of these places that think of these former manufacturing hubs, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, Detroit, Cleveland. In places sure. like that, maybe in Baltimore, when you consider like the shipping industry, a lot of those middle class jobs went away. So a lot of those men left, and a lot of those women are like looking to settle down with the first thing they can get their right. hands on. I also heard the same thing at UT Austin, where it's like there's 14% uh, more women than men there. So that's like pretty significant when you when women have a decision on who they want to go out with. So yeah. men have it easier. So you think that out. women in those and maybe the ladies can chime in on this as well. In those regions, are more looking for a long term kind of like lock him down, settle down, let's have babies and get married versus like say being in Miami, Brickle, like there's a different expectation of the guy. If he's going to call back, he does. If he doesn't, uh, and, and then in Vegas, of course, it's, Depends you know. Do you have different expectations if you meet a hot guy in Miami versus if you meet one in Wichita? Oh, yeah. What's there to do in Wichita? Let's well, but, be in the house but, but and I mean, fuck like, all day but, and but, cook. But see, like, but see that, but what I'm saying is... Like, a long, Shout like, out to St. Francis like, Street in Wichita. Like, That's like, where I, so, I used to live. So would you say that in Wichita, women are more inclined for a long-term uh, relationship as opposed to if they live in like Las Vegas or Miami, they're they're expecting a short-term thing. Oh, Michelle, do you think that's true? Because you, you were from Southern California, right? Yeah. Do you think you'd have easier time, a dude would have an easier time finding a woman who wants to settle down there than here? <laughs> like a lose-lose situation each way. Yeah. But I feel like it's impossible to find a guy in Vegas because like there's a million mm -hmm. hot girls in Vegas and like there's only so many guys. Guys, Very and transient I feel like here. I would, yeah. read my mind. One more time. There's a million hot girls oh, in yeah. Vegas. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, it's impossible. Can you, can you not hear me on my No, no, I can hear you fine. Yeah. Uh, it's impossible for a woman to settle down because there's so many fucking hot girls here. Yeah. I wonder why Michael has a program here. I wonder what's going on with <laughs> Don't that. come to Vegas. Don't like, come to Vegas, guys. Whatever you do, don't never come to what, Vegas. Whatever you guys do, do, don't come to Vegas Immersion. Vegasimmersion.io. Do not go to Vegasimmersion.io. Go ahead. And then I always say, like, it's kind of like the guys, because they're getting all this attention from all the hot girls. Like, you know, in the industry, it's like, there's like, there's so many hot girls that work out here. Then the five start thinking they're like tens, and then they like, because they're getting all the mm -hmm. attention of all the hot girls. And then they like treat yeah. girls like, and then they like think that they're like the ten, they can get mm -hmm. a multiple, they can get like all these girls, but like in the real life, they wouldn't get really get the attention. What she's saying is absolutely accurate. When I first moved here, the right. a, the average girl I was dating was Here. was hotter than any woman I'd ever been with in my entire life back in Texas. That's absolutely true because there's just so many more girls in nightlife here, and there's just so many pretty. Yeah, it's just well. so crazy. It's like you <laughs> should <laughs> move here. No, I want to live in Los Angeles and pay thirteen percent more. In taxes and be surrounded by homeless Nothing. people. But it's also, just so crazy to me. There's so many women to men here that are hot. It's like a lot of these men out here have this inflated sense of their their worth sure. or like their their hot scale, whatever you want to call it. Right? You're not that hot. You're not. Yeah, also, but they're but they're not being rejected. Girls out here will suck your. D
to get in the DJ booth. You know what I mean? Like, they're just <laughs> doing what's their the duties. Being hot, the are you, are you guys, hey, hold on, hold on, tell <laughs> me. Do you, hold on, hold on. Do you guys want a commission for my program? Like, what? Fuck yeah. you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? You're like selling my brother. Affiliate you want to get it? You want an affiliate account? Keep I'm talking more. Keep talking more about how the women are easier. It's true. It's, it's true. He's a four, but he's rich. That's all you know about him. I'll go seven, six. <laughs> okay, so he's like a seven, <laughs> eight. He's a six, but he drives a luxury car. Um, but you'll bump up a little bit. So seven, seven, and eight. He's a five, but he has a boat. I just had this one with my girlfriend. Eight. Jesus Christ. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I, think, I think I know the answer to this already, but would you say you have a very high sex drive? Oh, extremely. Yes. No I way. Is there any is, is there any woman at this table that thinks she has a low sex drive? Do you believe you have a lower sex drive? I don't know. You think you do, average? Michelle? Well, no, because I mean, I don't know. We've had that conversation yeah. before. Um, I don't know. I just, yeah. Uh, I get bored really easily. I, I think I think I think the way the way you so the way oh, is Michelle, the way you've explained it to me is yeah. that you don't enjoy sex the same way you've seen other girls yeah. enjoy sex. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. I guess. And it's maybe it's maybe hindered your your the way you're attracted to a man in a relationship. Maybe, well, you don't have the oxytocin release that well, maybe some. I, I don't know. Yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not like super sexual. Where like I'm like, oh my god, like I am like it's I get you awkward. Give, like, like I, gives I can't all, really talk to... dirty talk because I feel I'm awkward. I can't like. I'm sorry. Um, that's why whenever you're like, I'm so intrigued by like your sex panther thingy because um, I feel like I, can I can't just you. be like that. I can't be like, oh yeah, let me see that hard like thing because I get like really flushy. It has to be brought out. Just do it the whole podcast. I, I say that. Really awkward, awkward, I say that to my sales team. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I tell my sales team, let me see that hard. I think, I think it's really shy also. But does that also have to do with like upbringing? How no. you maybe were never talking about it openly, or you were raised know. a certain I would love way to, to talk about how certain things were bad. Or not good, you no, know, I to don't where know. I just get really shy. Kept quiet. I know. You know, I know, because like me and my group of friends and everyone who knows me since middle school and high school, they know I am exactly still the same. <laughs> so we were in high school together making out rosters of each guy that I had an interest in, you know, and my friends would all come the to me, list. you know, to Ooh. for advice. And we started with the bananas, you know what I mean? Like, but that was young and we Damn, talked about the bananas. Damn, school, right? Damn. she's Damn. giving sex ed, Slip. bro. So we started. <laughs> Bro, yeah, there's some, 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 there's